art and nature can be a motor of change because art and nature is free of dogmas, of the needs our system has created, of the values our system has created. We want to bring artists and artistic vision, alternative view of life in the world in contact with science, entrepreneurship and politics. Well-being obviously has many dimensions, but as we all know, without touching the economic system and making changes to the way we are measuring things, we will not be able to make lasting changes. Hence, we will mainly focus on macroeconomic aspects and also their effects on our day-to-day -day lives and what, for example, business owners and entrepreneurs can do to touch upon, upon a new kind of economy. In the middle of this global pandemic, this should be the conversation that we're not having. How do you build an economy? How do you build a society that puts our well-being at the center of our idea of progress? So humans have to decide whether they really want to prosper or whether they want to destroy themselves. Health is a common issue. It's something that we only can reach if we work together. It's of no help if you are healthy and everybody surrounding you is sick. Lots of people feel that something is not going into the right direction with the way we deal with the world. Then we kind of think we can get better out of this crisis and we can be better off afterwards. I still doubt that this will happen, but I think there's a chance. We displace so many people by technology and that we somehow um, somehow like multi-generational families got out of fashion and no real vivid neighborhoods anymore and everything is kind of decentralized. So I think we need to come back or we need to come up with alternative ways of making people feel like they belong. The sea is an and a deep, deep sound is guitar. The sea is an and a zip stopped in here on my set. If we can somehow tackle the problem from that perspective that everybody is involved, everybody is part of the solution, and um, then I think we, we have um, a lot of chances whatever the solutions are. Everybody should be part of the solution. That's a very strong statement. I think in order for us to um, be able to really craft a well-being economy, we also need to really transform our financial sector. I do observe that in our time, it has become fashionable and chic to complain about a lack of well-being all the time and then put the blame on politicians. I mean, Charles Darwin gave his theory the final touch after having visited the Galapagos Islands, where he found birds which made a fabulous evolution in the absence of competitors. Symbiosis is a lot more pleasurable than competition.